Joining us now is Dr. David Koenig. He's CEO of a company called UCS Advisors. David, welcome back to the program. Thanks for having me, Don. Always a pleasure. Now, I know you're a small business expert, and I want to talk to you about, as we emerge so slowly from this COVID thing, how that's going to affect small companies. Well, I think it's really interesting because uh, companies here domestically, especially small companies, they've been able to pivot during this COVID-19 time. And the companies have been able to, to pivot and adapt are really been growing. And if you really look at the microcap industry, you see a lot of microcap companies constantly growing over the last quarter or two. And Don, if we were to take another step further, the, uh, the small cap companies that are providing uh, medical PPE, COVID-19 tests, or even uh, cleaning products or services, not only are they focusing here in the United States, but they're also now looking at helping countries over in the European Union. It's really interesting how they're now actually providing services and actually products over to different countries over in Europe. So you're seeing these small cap companies really start to grow and also expand their businesses. Well, of course, small cap companies represent a real growth opportunity because if you invest in say Amazon or Microsoft, you're not gonna double your money in a year or two years, but that, that is very possible with a small cap company. It truly is. And there's also a lot of hidden gems. Uh, a lot of people don't take the time to read a company's financials. Um, as we talk about uh, being an investor relations advisory company, where if you have a question about a company, call them up, talk to their IR department, try to talk to someone on their board of directors, you know, do your research. But really, when you look at some of these small cap companies, some of them stopped doing press releases during COVID. Some of them really stopped uh, communicating with their shareholders. And now in the first quarter here in 2021, they're finally turning the corner. They're communicating with their shareholders. They're communicating with the public on where the company is going. And some of these purchase orders that these companies are getting and the revenues they have coming in already for 2021 already surpasses all the revenues for 2020. Well, that's amazing. Now, I know that you're very big in the cannabis industry. How's that the outlook for that in 2021? Cannabis is looking great. Uh, I'm still very uh, bullish on it overall, especially the ancillary services. Uh, as we would like to say, there's a lot of hidden gems out there in the cannabis market, and especially in the ancillary services. You know, there's so much more out there than just touching the plant. There's testing labs, there's extraction labs. Um, we actually have a client that does hemp extraction and there's a huge demand here in the United States for additional hemp extraction facilities. Well, when you think of the variety of products that are available now that are CB, CBD infused or CBD based, it really is amazing how this has grown over the last say even five years. It truly is and, and we talked about this before on your show, Don, regardless of who the president is, regardless of what's happening with the economy, for the last 10 plus years, the campus sector has shown a minimum of 100% growth every single year in a row. And campus is still growing. There's over 30 plus states. I believe the stat is now one out of every six Americans lives in an area where there's some form of campus that's allowed, whether it's recreational or medical use. Well, you mentioned 10 years, that encompasses three administrations. It truly does. So as we say, regardless of what's happening, campus is still going up, CBD is still going up, and it's a great opportunity to get involved in that sector now. Now, of course, uh, you know, I know you're very bullish on cannabis, but we're going back to the small cap sector. What other industries do you think are poised for growth this year? Uh, I will still say uh, companies that are providing uh, with COVID-19 tests, COVID uh, or medical PPE that are doing it internationally, those small cap Companies are really looking to grow and will continue to expand. Uh, telemedicine is also very huge right now. Uh, we're seeing a lot of interest from our investors looking to invest in different telemedicine deals, uh, whether that's from physical therapy, telemedicine, to uh, primary care physicians, to even medical devices. It's amazing how the scope of business has changed in just really one year. It truly is. And it's really interesting because we've, we're seeing a lot of some of our investors who would never invest in the medical industry now looking to invest in the medical sector. The company's UCS advisors, Dr. David Koenig. Uh, David, your insight is always appreciated. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me, Don. You have a great day today.